So if you've been following the channel for a while, you know we're a huge Eero fan. Their products are just so seamlessly integrated and easy to set up. We recently got the Eero 7 Max and the Pros, and today I have to show you the latest offering, the Outdoor 7. So this is a little different than some of those other ones. These are only dual bands, but it is still Wi-Fi 7. And this one's unique is, as the name really explains, this is meant to be installed outdoors to give you better coverage, whether it's in your garage or outside on your patio, anywhere you need to get extended Wi-Fi coverage. This is meant to do the trick since it is IP66 water and dust resistant. So I will throw those affiliate links up down below for Amazon and Best Buy. We always appreciate if you use those codes, it definitely helps out the channel. Thank you in advance for that. Now, let's go ahead, unbox this baby. I'm not going to do a whole setup walkthrough, but I will show you it installed. Let's go. Right off the bat, you can tell this is a much bigger packaging than what the Pro 7 or even the 7 Max is. It is meant to be a larger router and in typical fashion with how Wi-Fi 7 is, they're gonna be taller rather than flat. So this is a dual band 2x2 Wi-Fi 7 router with wireless speeds <coughs> with wireless speeds up to 2.1 gigabits per second it does have one 2.5 gigabit ethernet port and it does cover 15,000 square feet just with this one node it even does come with the mounting kit and ac adapter just as a word of caution if you are ordering this on amazon they do have two models this one and the one without the AC adapter being included. Technically, you don't need it. However, this one is more watertight and is meant, again, for outdoors. So I would recommend just spending the extra 50 bucks and getting it with the adapter. Beyond that, you can see exactly the specifications here. It is 6.34 inches in length and then 8.18 inches in height. This is, again, somewhat of a taller router. So it does have the true mesh technology. It is backwards compatible. It does have that dual band concurrent two by two compatibility with previous Wi-Fi standards. The frequency bands are 2.4 gigahertz, 20, 40 megahertz, and then your five gigahertz network as well. It does have that auto sensing 2.5 gigabit power over ethernet port and your 30 watt outdoor adapter as well. As you can see for us specifically, in my backyard, I really was struggling with our TV out there having consistent coverage for the Wi-Fi signal strength. This is meant to do just that and give us much better coverage. And again, IP66 rating, 15,000 square feet outdoors. Let's hop right into it. Easy pull tabs on the top and bottom to get you started. Once you do that, you're just gonna be able to lift the box up, shake it down, and there we go. So this does have a more rugged look as you would expect and feel it's almost textured plastic. I know it's probably not gonna pick up too well on the camera, but it is still nice and not as massive as I was worried about. You can see the mounting location for it as well and that power over ethernet adapter right here. You have your power button and all of that. So let's go ahead and set this to the side for right now take a look at what else is in the bottom of the packaging here and as you can see you are getting that hefty again $50 extra power adapter here so you can see just how it's meant to be so rugged the power over ethernet power cable is right here and covered let me not break that off with this screw tab to make sure no water gets in and then obviously your wall adapter right there as well and then all that you're gonna get left, aside from that, is your hardware equipment and everything you need to mount it. Here is your installation guide. It's gonna be as easy as you would imagine. So if you wanna read that, you can. We're not gonna take time on that one right now. And then obviously your screws, your brackets, and everything else that go along with it. So you would set this up in the Eero app, just like you do any other device. It is compatible in there. Let's go ahead and get that done right now. All right, so we got it plugged in. And what you're gonna wanna do first thing is obviously launch your Eero app. And then like you would with any other item that you wanna add, you're gonna hit the plus sign on the top right, 
but this time instead of an indoor Eero, you want to add an outdoor Eero, and you will see the setup does look a little different at this point. It'll start with a placement guide if you get started. We obviously aren't gonna do this piece right now because it's, well, not in its proper placement, so we'll skip that, and then we'll get ready to connect your Eero. So we'll go ahead and click scan barcode, and if you noticed, it is actually right on the bottom here with that little LED indicator. We will just go ahead and scan it and say next. And you can see your Eero Outdoor 7 is now connected. It is that easy to add in your app. Once you do that, it will obviously test the connection. It says before mounting, check the Eero's connection, set location, mount the Eero. We're gonna go ahead, finish the setup, and come right back. So now that the Outdoor 7 is installed and in place, it's time to run that speed test, and we're just gonna use Google's Quick One Online instead of the typical speedtest.net one. So we're just gonna go ahead and say run speed test and see what we get. We do have gigabit ethernet speed with a max seven in the house here. And you can see we pulled in 306 megabits per second down, and it's looking like we're gonna get about 160 or so up. About average from what we've seen, a little lower. Let's go ahead and run this one more time, wait a few seconds, and test it again. So now we have some sort of a benchmark. We'll go right outside and run this with the Outdoor 7 as our primary connectivity point. If you didn't know, in the Eero app, it does show you what devices are connected to which node, so you know when these devices are connected properly. All right, so now we're back outside, right under the Outdoor 7. Let's run this test now. We did verify it was connected to this node, and you can see it is pulling in almost half of what the megabits were on the other one. We'll run it again just to verify. Same with the upload, we're pulling in only half of our typical speed. Let's see what happens when this finishes. Okay, wait a couple seconds. Test it again. So yeah, it is definitely not picking up quite as fast, but if you were in a pinch and needed that extra bit of coverage, this more than will suffice. I will tell you, we have our Cybertruck connected already to this as well. It was pulling in a download at the same time as this, so could have something to play in it. This isn't terrible by any means, but just not, again, exactly what we received inside. Run it one more time just because, and we'll be done with this. So yeah. It's definitely not even pulling in anything close to 200 megabits, let alone three. And uploads, you can see, are still struggling to get by. So there you go. Let us know what you think about the new Eero Outdoor 7, and if you pick one up, and once you install it, how well it's working for you. So far, so good in our short time span. I'm super excited. It was actually really good right after those speed tests and on daily usage and not running a speed test. It operated just as I anticipated with no issues. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.